Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Cole. Uh, I belong to the company Onyx International Inc. Um, I've been working for this company already for four years and I'm, I'm in charge, I'm the European sales representative for the company, helping expand the, the business and the brand, not only in Europe, but also uh, worldwide. So what we do, our company for 13 years have been dedicated to the development, uh, production and sale of the high quality uh, e-readers and, and high-end e-paper tablets, as the one you can see here. And um, at present, we are one of the top companies in the e-ink devices industry, uh, selling in different markets that later on I will explain a little bit more. So we have a line of uh, four uh, devices, four different sizes. We would have a six inch, 7.8 inch, and a 10.3 inch. Okay, so um, the six inch would be a basic uh, e-reader, but uh, what we like to do is, uh, is to introduce high-end electronic components. So for that reason, uh, I tend to say that is a high-end product. Uh, this is running Android 9.0, which first of all, it, it makes the device more secure, energy efficient, and it provides the possibility of downloading uh, several uh, third-party applications. So at the same time, at the same time, this device um, is, has an octa-core processor and is running two gigabytes RAM, which it makes it faster, one of the fastest in the market. And as you can see, for example, here I downloaded several applications, like for example, Amazon Kindle, where you can immediately go and start reading your books and it runs very, very fast. So why to buy, for example, one of these or, or buy a, um, a Kindle? Well, basically because uh, when you buy a specific brand like Kindle or Kobo, you are buying a device and you get this, the, the eBooks from a specific uh, source. And in, in the books products, you can get the source. I mean, you can, you can get the content from different sources. You are not attached to one specific source, which makes it attractive for, for the users. And at the same time, as I said, it's faster. You have other, other small features like a, a navigation ball with, uh, that have several, several features several features unblocked here. Or you, you can uh, uh, use uh, the, the front light, front light in different tones, like or more orange or warm, or for example, more cold light. So it depends on, on uh, your eyes, what makes more, more comfortable for you. Then we have the other three models. The, the other three models are already e-paper tablets. E-paper tablets, uh, what is good from them is that, e, first of all, the main features is that the e-ink screen, the e-ink screen technology is eye-friendly and is glare-free. You can be working on these devices for many hours a day without eye strain, instead of, for example, if you work with the LCD screen, which uh, harm your retina. And at the same time, you can do it outside uh, without any problem with, uh, with the, the sunlight. Um, uh, this technology at the same time, uh, reduces the battery consumption in a way that you can work with the device for one to two weeks before uh, charging the battery again. So this is fantastic. Um, for example, in this case, it works with a uh, fingerprint recognition. You can, you can read up to 19 different types of text. You can take your notes on top of your text and easily find all your notes after you read your documents, eBooks, etc. All your notes can be exported, can be synchronized with the cloud. You have several options for that. You can write on black, but also you can write on colors. And then when you transfer your files to the LCD device, like a laptop or a LCD tablet, you can see all your notes with the different colors. At the same time, this device, um, as I said, you can download different type of applications for, for working. Uh, like Evernote, Dropbox, etc. Uh, the, 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 the product comes with a battery-free pen, which is using electromagnetic uh, technology. And when you take notes on it, it has pressure sensitivity. If you if you're write uh, stronger or less stronger. And at the same time, also it has, um, it recognizes, it recognizes your handwriting. and convert it into text. 
So, and you can afterwards, you can uh, synchronize your notes uh, with the cloud. So basically also it has a voice recognition so you can be speaking and all, all what you say is converted into text. And basically this device is important for professionals and for students, which okay. are the main buyers. Uh, Andrew, sorry, <laughs> sorry, but uh, your time is off. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we are open for a couple of questions sure. um, from the audience. If uh, you have any questions for Andrew, uh, you can see one question. Okay, so uh, Chris Jeffrey asked, um, why, why would I buy this over a remarkable brand which has a paper fill screen and is only 399 uh, US dollars? Uh, well, basically, first of all, the, the screen uh, filling it is very similar. When you write with the books, it also has a, a feeling like, like similar to writing on paper. And at the same time, uh, the books offer you more uh, software features and a much more powerful hardware solution than Remarkable does. Uh, Octa-core processor, four gigabyte RAM, it works, it is a snappy product. Uh, you can uh, download any applications you want. You can read up to many type of texts. So at the end of the day, Remarkable is a good product, but at the end of the day, you pay a little bit more, but you get more features and a, and a very good performance as a product. Thank you. Um, another question. Um, the difference between uh, Kindle or Kobo is asking Aaron. Uh, basically, as I said before, the fact of running Android 9.0 allow you to download any application in the market that you want. You can download it from our App Store or you can also download it from Google Play. So basically you are not attached to one main source to get your eBooks and that you can download it from different, uh, different applications. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Two uh, more questions. Yeah, how about the Arabic version for Middle East? So since it's Android based and actually we are selling in different markets throughout Europe and North America in the Arabic countries and Asia, uh, our products support different languages. However, if there would be any specific language that a partner of us would like to, to, to work with us, we could uh, translate and introduce it in our devices without any problem. Okay. We do it all the time. 